and Billy Lightning, the newest member of the A-list, the Irish giant, Eamon O'Neill. Well, Eamon O'Neill making his way to the ring, accompanied by Billy Lightning, LT Summer. Oh, no, 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 don't come here again. He's just putting his, his bowl of water down. Oh. The man is obnoxious. What's your problem with Billy Lightning? You're just jealous of his success. A-list. And his A-list. celebrity. A-list. Yeah, we know what A stands for. I told you before, awesome. Yeah. And his opponent. <laughs> Ultimate underdog. Everybody loves Spud. Everyone, except you and Billy and Eamon O'Neill. Oh, from behind. Eamon O'Neill. If you uh, have trouble identifying them, Eamon O'Neill's the one pounding the midget. That's a little. Politically incorrect. A little. See, even you're joining in, Linsky. Oh, no, come on! Come on, what is going on here? Do you know what? This wouldn't happen if I was in the middle of that match. No, they'd use other things to distract you. Like that bucket of fried chicken we saw earlier. It doesn't matter where Spud goes, there's a member of the A-list there. And look at it, look at it, look, 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 look. come on! I, I can't see anything from my vantage point here. No, you, what, what can't you see? Well, I, I see Eamon O'Neill talking to Chris Hatch. Oh. Oh, look at this. He can hold him up there all day. I mean, he work, Amy O'Neill works out with heavier weights than Spud. Notice the forearm across the face there. Shades of old school. Shades of the likes of Dave Taylor there. Yeah, you can, you can tell Amy O'Neill is a well-trained athlete. Yes. And now he s sticks in the chin lock. All that weight leaning down. Well, of course on he's sticking it in. He's trained properly. It's very, very uneasy at the moment. And I think the reason of the uneasiness and the unrest is that the fact that you have one person in the ring and you've got three people around the outside of the ring. You have Aviv Mayan, you have LT Summers, and you have Billy, I can't remember names of anybody like me. Billy remembers the names of the important people. Did he forget yours then? Come on, Spud. Funny, that because he knows exactly who I am. He's I'm sorry, he's I'm a, sorry, dude. Did he drop something? He's a friend of mine on Facebook and everything. And now Eamon O'Neill's stretching out Spud. Well, let's face it, Spud needs stretching out. You know, with a bit of luck, he might be five foot five by the end of this match. If he keeps going by the next century or next decade, he'll be six foot. And the arrogance of the 
I was going to say the hated heroes, but they're not. It's now the A list, isn't it? What's that voice for? The A list. I'm Billy Lightning, and the A list. Yes. The audacity of the man. It's a good job that uh, we know what Spud's age is, because otherwise someone might mistake this for child abuse. Oh, look at that surfboard. Now that surfboard is impressive. Shades of Steve Gray there. Johnny oh, Kidd. he's going to grab the neck now as well. No, nope. couldn't hold on to it, but that I think the damage has already been done. Now, Linsky, you're a former wrestler. I mean, what parts of the body does that move stretch out? Well, the neck, yeah. the spine. It's been likened to being put on a torture rack. Well, there you go. And Spud making a... Oh. But I was going to say a, a spirited fight back, but... Amy O'Neill swats him down like a fly. Like a fly, Linsky. Oh, Huni. Huge knee to the side of the head. A Huni. A Huni. A huge knee to the side of the head. And, and, and look at LT and Aviv just mooching around. Mooching around. They're talking to the fans. And now Billy's there. Come on. Screaming encouragement of his latest A-lister. Well, once again, Eamon O'Neill using his size advantage to his advantage. <laughs> Billy Lightning shouting at the referee, um, shouting at the referee to keep control. I, I think Chris Hatch is perfectly in control of this match. Don't tell me if you're a referee, you've thrown the, uh, the other A-listers out. Oh! Indeed. Indeed. Bud gets kicked into the sec into the next week. What the? What is this? Some fans throwing. Oh no, it's LT throwing something in the ring. He's in the crowd. He's allowed to do that. He's LT Summers. Oh, for goodness sake. So, what? LT just sitting down in the crowd? Yep. Along with Aviv Mayan. Well, it looks like Spud's going to spend the rest of his bank holiday weekend eating soup. Do you know what? I might as well just sit back and let this all happen. Because poor old Spud, although this is all... Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful drop kick from a man that big. You should just sit back, get yourself some popcorn and enjoy watching this, because this is brilliant. Well, with all the things that are going on outside of the ring, it's got to be sooner or later that Eamon O'Neill gets distracted from his own team members and Spud's going to take advantage. They're not there for distraction. They're there for backup, for support, for moral... Oh, no, 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 oh. As I was saying, moral encouragement. How can you call that moral? That's immoral. What? Well, Billy Lightning's just... What about Billy Lightning? Well, you've got two... You've got a set uh, of eyes, a pair of eyes. My, my monitor's not working. I was just looking at uh, Eamon O'Neill talking to Chris Hatch again. Billy Lightning is stood there, and every time the referee's back's turned... Whoop! Ducks that one, ducks that one! Oh, there you go! Come on, Spud! Drop toe hold. Oh, look at that. He can't even throw Eamon O'Neill across the ring. Like I said, Eamon O'Neill trains with weights heavier than Spud. One, two, oh. Although the weights don't fight back, admittedly. This is true. And what is LT Summers doing with that chair? Well, the weights don't have stupid haircuts. LT is just taking a seat near us. Oh, great. He's not even doing that. He's rem remaining at ringside. No, 
And now Spud making his way to the top. And what's Billy Lightning doing? Yeah, come on. Come on, referee, you're right there. His shoelace is undone and Billy Lightning's trying to point it out to the referee. Oh! All oh, the way down and Spud bounced off the canvas and nearly out of the ring. Oh! Come on! And Spud is rapidly turning into cream potatoes. You mean he's mashing him up? I try to avoid such obvious puns. And LT just walking around, you've got... Keeping his sugar levels up with a lollipop, that's good. And we're only looking to put Spud away, perhaps. But no. Yes! DDT! DDT! This has got to be it. No. Foot on the ropes. Yeah, which Billy put there. I, I couldn't see from this angle. Blast this monitor not working. I, I just have to look at, you know, from my, my perspective here. All I can see is a big head in front of me at the minute. Don't you talk about LT Summers like that. Oh, Billy getting chased! Oh. And Spud getting caught. Yeah. <laughs> hey. First yeah. count from yeah. Hatch! First count <laughs> from Chris Hatch! Oh, oh, look at this! Come on! Come on! That was a fast count from Hatch! That was one, two, three, like that. Admittedly not the slowest of counts, but... Oh, even you say it, Linsky. Even you admit that that was biased refereeing. I've never liked Chris Hatch. That did not happen. He did not beat me. Exactly. That was a one, two, that three, like happen. that. Well, I think you find you did. Referee's decision's final. It was not a three. It was not a three. Three. A three. Three. I'm going to show you exactly how this match ended. Well, we know how it ended. It was a three count. Referee, get in there. Oh, my TKO. word. TKO. I'll count it for you. Oh, one, two, three. And that's how it goes. Yeah, Hatch should be ashamed of himself. Blatant biased referee. I hope the, the board of the control best. are watching this because one. Because the best the British board of control. We are the A-list. Let that be a lesson, Spud. You could never, ever on your best day be the A-list on you. Well, Spud advances. Spud advances, yeah, great. Spud advances to face Sam Slam. Well done, Spud. Well. You know, he may have fluked to victory over Dave Morales. He may have used a biased referee to get past Eamon O'Neill. But I'm telling you now, I'll eat my hat if he beats Sam Slam. Um, oh, new little sign from the A-list. Very quaint. That's the A of A-list. Awesome. You better believe it, Linsky.